come back this morning. So how's Fort Smith? Groovy. Glad things went well with your parents. I've been reading my mail. Talk to your social worker. Going back to live with him? The place is a hole. Charlie knows, eh? Nothing to do in Smith. Bad is here. Did they ask you to stay? Not ready yet. You are them. Maybe by Christmas. New jacket. Kind of pricey for you. I think I stole it. Did I say that? My parents gave it to me. Your parents? He spent the week with them. I'm sure he did. Bet everyone had a nice time. He's going to church now, but all the puppies he rescued last week. He saw his family counselor. I spoke to her. Oh, good. He's finding himself. You push him, and he has to push back. I heard them again this morning. Something going on out there. What? I don't know. Voices, someone moving around. Probably running in booze from Wolverine Lake. But that might explain that fancy new jacket of his. He just got back. Keep an eye on him. Kids' workbooks. We're doing them till the new teacher arrives. Oh gosh, I remember these things. <laughs> Just make sure you got plenty of gold stars. It's the important thing. There you go. Did you call social services again? No. No, it doesn't hurt to show we're enthusiastic. They said it could be a long wait. I know. Still. You know, it'll probably be a native baby. Mm-hmm. I think they'll be very strict in evaluating us. I know what they want to hear. It's not like applying for a hunting license, Brian. What? I want this baby so much, and... Part of me feels guilty, you know? I mean, it's like praying for someone else's misfortune. <sighs> Only you could come up with something like that. Listen. We're the lifeboat for some little baby out there. He just hasn't found us yet. You're right. It doesn't hurt to call him again. Remind them I'm RCMP. Brian's right. Well, that's not the point. He has nothing to go on. He just assumes. And what if William is really trying? You think he is? Well, I don't know. But Brian keeps pushing. Maybe he forces him into something. Is this about Brian or is it about William? Well, whose side are you on anyways? Yours. Always yours. <laughs> Where are the others? Not here yet. How come? I don't know. Now Yellowknife wants to see receipts for two-year-old expense claims. They're doing it just to torture me. I hope. I could talk to Peter when he gets back. Thanks. I don't need any help. I quit. Kids here think they're hot stuff, eh? They've never been anywhere. Not like you and me. Yeah. I know it's like being the new kid. 
Anybody gives you any shit, you let me know. I can handle myself. Yeah, I bet you can. Hey, Charlie, you want to play some pool? With you? Well, it's moron. Go see if the table's free. Take that suitcase to my cousin for me? Yeah. Give me a letter for you, uh, said to might as well save a stamp. Cheap buggery. <laughs> Her and Andrew every night. God. Polish. Oh. Anyway, it's about time to get a life of my own. Don't put that in your mouth, honey. So what do you think? I mean, it's just a tent now, but uh. I don't know, I can keep adding on. You want to live in a bush? You have to look after yourself, okay? What's this? It's our new home. Joe's just giving me a hand here. You're gonna need a floor. Walls too. I know what it needs. <laughs> Your mother's a real pioneer. <laughs> Don't forget to trench it. Rain's coming. Did you find it? Yeah, but it's not mine. Where was it? By the rec center. Was William hanging around? No. But you were playing pool, right? That's before. Where was it exactly? By the basketball hoop. Yeah, but was it under the siding, out in the open? Where? I told you, by the basketball hoop. Sort of under a rock. Charlie, you did good. Can I go? Yeah, OK. I guess that explains William's new jacket. What? What? Who else? The Golos? No one else could set up something like that. A pot farm? Why not? All you need is seeds and water. And Albert's permission. <sighs> yeah, we'll see. until you're out of business. There's no business. Right. That's your story. You stay to it. That is nuts. What? Nothing.
the stove. I don't want my little sister getting cold. Albert sent this? No. Nah. Took it out of an old cabin we don't use anymore. Does Albert know about this? I don't tell him everything I do. Anyway, all you have to do is put it together. Thanks. It's okay. I'll do it. So what are you up to today? In fact, coffees were okay last week. I saw you hanging around with William yesterday. He was hanging around with me. Jesus, the point is we He's need not to really your age. The rest of the so what? Arrive. He's my friend. So who else does he hang around with? I'm not your spy, okay? Charlie. Yeah, right. Thanks. That wasn't his part either. Say anything, all right? You can't afford to get caught again. At what? At anything. I find so much as a roach in your pocket, you're going to jail. Search me. I got nothing to hide. Hey, no sentencing circle, no fine. You mind? Bush? Like what? More people? Maybe someone with a generator? So how's Sarah doing? Yeah, in the bush isn't so bad if you spend all your time in the coffee shop. If you have any trouble. What the hell do you want? I found some pot lying around by the rec center yesterday. If you can arrest me for something, go ahead. Otherwise, screw off. Hey, I'm still talking to you. Tell her. Tell me what? Why bother? She was probably watching. Fletcher was all over us last night, threatening us. He was choking William with his boot. And for what? For nothing. Checked. Was that before or after you choked him? Ryan? I just hung up the phone with social services, and they said if we want it, that there's a child available right now. Yes. God, <laughs> I can't believe it. Is it a boy, a girl? A boy. His name's Alan, and uh, he's three years old. And he has some, um, some motor skill problems, uh, fetal alcohol syndrome. But he's a normal little boy in every other way. I know. I know. We said we'd wait for a healthy infant. But it could be such a long time, especially with us being white. So what happens now? Well, I said we'd have the first home visit, and then, you know, we'd talk some more. Are you against the idea? No. No, I, I just, uh, I'm a little bowled over, I guess. 
I mean, do, do we know how serious these problems are? What they might lead to down the road? No, but we can handle it. And when he gets to be school age, I can do lots of remedial work with him at home. I already have experience with kids like this. Yeah, yeah, well, that's right. <laughs> um, I, I gotta go, but we'll talk about this later. It'll be okay. Sure. But we'll take it one step at a time. It's a child, Brian. Yeah. Hey, Joe. Joe? Joe? What, what's wrong? What the hell happened? Oh, that son of a bitch. Stay out of it. I did. It was him. It was not. A tablespoon of fertilizer, not a cup. Nathan! Shut up. Nathan! Hey! Get him off me! What are you doing here? I'm here to save your ass, you goofs. Ow! Why? Cops found some dope in town. They're looking for the farm. I said no selling in town. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Let him up. How'd you find us? Heard the generator half a mile away. It's like a big red arrow. Dope dealers this way. Go home. Now. family. What can I do? This is ridiculous. We should just call a plane in. Or phone ahead and let them know we're coming. Excuse me. People know every plane in the air. One pass and we'll never get near them again. Hey, I've prosecuted four drug operations in my career. How about you? Was there news about the adoption thing? Sorry, I overheard. Yeah. Little boy, three years old. Congratulations. Thanks. That's not a sure thing yet. Might turn out to be a little more than we can handle. He's got problems. What kind of problems? That's just it. Anyway. What are you using? I don't know. What kind of fertilizer? Dried fish is better. You should let me in on this. I can help. I'm smart. I'm smarter than them. <laughs> so is my dog. We'll see.
needle in a damn haystack. What? I don't know. It's gone now. We'll be chasing friggin' owls next. Stay away from my trap line. Stay out of my business. There has to be a generator. Where are you going? Hunting. Oh. You think Mrs. Hockett's gonna look in our stove? She might be getting a little carried away, don't you think? I want her to know we look after the place. Do you want to go through with this or not? Of course I do. I just think we need to find out a little bit more about what we're getting into here. I mean, are we talking a learning disability or serious brain damage? Well, whatever it is. I need to know if we're in this together. What the hell kind of a question is that? fair question and I deserve an honest answer Brian it's just too important this time this time you just bring this stuff up and throw it in my face whenever it suits you don't twist my words like that I made a mistake two years ago I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry stop it I'm sorry I'm sorry Jesus how many times do you have to hear it Brian listen to me if we're going to take this baby, our baby, then I have to learn to trust you again. I have to know that we're talking about sharing the love for a child equally, unconditionally. Because if we're not, then we might as well stop this right now. Are you with me in this? We're gonna have a child. That's the most important thing. Dude, what's up? Heard you found some pot. Should have smoked it. Ah, uh, but you quit, right? Yeah. in trouble for having it? That's good. So, uh, where's your mom? Went hunting, but she didn't really. It's work. Yeah. You bastard. You just couldn't leave it alone, eh? Sorry about the stove. 
Turns out we need you to... You shut up. Because you have nothing to say here. You just do what he says. Well, you know what? It's time to grow up, boy. And I can always get another stove, Albert. But five ruined traps? It's not my business. Albert, you make everything your business. Joel has to take care of himself, like you. I don't love you, Albert. And if you want to punish me, then fine. But leave Joe out of this. If I was punishing you, you'd know it. Michelle's on her way out to the cabin. Sounds like she knows where she's going. Charlie told me. No. The boys are out there. I'll go. How does he know? Because he came out to warn us about Michelle once already. And he did nothing about it? I was going to. Go ahead, Michelle. I found it. There's plants, grow lights, the whole works. It looks like they're moving. I'm gonna stake it out. What's your 20? It's about four clicks up the river on the Gola trap line. Yeah, I think I can find that. Listen, do not, I repeat, do not attempt an arrest until I get there. She's gonna be here at two. Do you think I'll be back in time? There's no telling. Generator! Didn't you turn it off? Yeah! What the hell? Somebody ripped us off, man. What's in the bags? Laundry day?
Two against one. Oh, shut up. I'm so sorry about this. Things come up. Why don't I make some more tea? I don't think I could drink anymore. Where's the rest of the stuff? You are moving at where to? Man, are you guys in deep trouble? Assaulting a peace officer, cultivating marijuana for the purpose of trafficking. You need a friend in the worst way. Go ahead. See if you can make it worse. You're headed for Simpson, and you're not coming back for a long, long time. Where's Albert? We want a lawyer. Ryan? Close the door, Rosemary. I know you're busy. It's just... Close the door. I can handle this if you need to. Start your arrest report, Constable. Last time we put a Golo on trial here, Nathan went for a holiday in the woods. And now he's back and he's in the drug business. We should be dealing with this here. Oh, God, this isn't about community policing again, is it? Why are they being held? They're being transferred to Fort Simpson. I want my lawyer to see them before they leave. Your lawyer is welcome to see them at any time. But Walter and Herbert are leaving town in about three hours. And you're going along with this. Albert! Get us out of here! You can go in and see them if you like. Go home before someone decides to arrest you, too. Sorry about the wait. Please. Police work. You never know when the lid's gonna blow off. It's not always like this. No, that's right. We, we get our quiet times, too. We've talked quite a bit already. But I guess what I want you both to consider more is the nature of the commitment. Alan has special needs. We know he has some motor skill problems. Over time, he should be able to overcome that. But some other things may come up down the road. Behavior problems, for example. Behavior problems are what I do. <laughs> but you can't just throw a three-year-old in jail. He's going to take a lot of your time, as well as your love and patience. And pretty much constant care? For the first few years. And after that? I've seen amazing progress when kids like that are settled in a stable environment. Well, the force is changing its policy on moving officers around. The days of me working 300 miles from home are, are pretty much over. You've spent a lot of time apart. It's the job. I'm not saying we won't move again. We'll probably move lots. But we will be together a lot more. How do you feel about handling Alan on your own? Oh, well, it's not like Brian won't be here. No. Well, that's right. From now on, where I go, the family goes. Besides, your uh, department offers a fair amount of uh, follow-up, right? We do our best. But we've been cut back like everyone else. Hmm. Probably could find a support group on the Internet. The point is... Hey, if Alan... Uh, check nights get a little loud in here. I'm sorry. Uh, what were you saying? There's no reason Alan can't thrive in the right environment. Good. Because we're both really looking forward to this. All right? Hey. 
I'm gonna move. I didn't realize what I was getting you into with Albert. And I'm so sorry. No place for you to go. We'll find some place. You can't start running. Or you never stop. I'm not scared of him. You should be. They didn't believe me. I saved what I could for you. When did you have time to do this? Last night. I was on my way over, but Fletcher was on my ass. Then this morning, I find out Michelle's on her way out there. A good 70, 80 grand there. Jeez. Oh, 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 I couldn't get there in time. I tried to warn them. Herbert and Walter are in jail because they're too stupid to stay out. But you are smart enough to get yourself into real trouble. What should I do with the stuff? Talk to Nathan. <laughs> so to get Mrs. Hawkett tucked away in the motel? Too bad I was late, but I thought it went well. I told her we changed our mind. What? I said we weren't ready to take on an FAS child. So you made this decision all by yourself? No, Brian, you did. What the hell are you talking about? You made me go through all of that because you're just too much of a coward to say what you really want. Hey, hey, I wanted a child. You know that. The child you want is a fantasy. You're some kind of fishing buddy, some kind of... Some kind of extension of you. It's not about love. It's still about you and what you want. It's... A father has to love his child. I'm not sure you know how. So what? We're just giving up? Is that it? Yes. Where's Albert? Isn't he coming? Let's go. It wasn't us. We didn't leave that generator on. Shut up! I know what you did. You planted the dope for Charlie to find. You left the generator on for me. You want to be in the dope business that bad, you better be ready for the fallout. Fletcher's finally gotten to you. Every Indian kid's a dope dealer. This is freaking harassment. 
You haven't seen anything yet. You stay away from Charlie. Find out how much bail they want. I don't care. I want you in Fort Simpson by tomorrow morning. I'm sorry I got in your case before. I used to do the same thing to Hannah. But I'm gonna quit, okay? Okay. Look, you should know William was using you. Was not. I know it's hard to hear, but... How come you don't want me to have any friends? Charlie, that's not... Thank you. 